What's going on everybody? Rogue Hero here. So today is video of me going over how to beat the PK deck. Also, I'm bringing back my green screen for this video. Let me know if you guys like it and if I should keep it. If not, I'll cut the green screen for the next video. I haven't used the green screen in a while. So with that being said, let me know. Hope it comes out good. If it comes out crappy, I'm just going to leave it as a green back drop. How to beat PKs, man. The deck is pretty much one of the better decks of the format. And I pretty much feel like it's a lot of ways you guys can beat this deck. Before we get to the actual video, smash the like button. Make sure you get the 500 likes. Also, if you guys are new here, subscribe for more. Phantom Knights. What's the main goal of this deck right now? Essentially, the main goal of the deck is, for you guys that do not know, it wants to set up the new engine with the adventure tokens to make the griffin for the Omni Negate and go into Scythe Lock. So the whole main goal is essentially... Omni Negate, Scythe Lock, lock you out of your turn, OTK you on a follow-up. So, I mean, I got a concise list of things to beat this deck. The main way you guys are going to beat this deck in general is specifically just by trying not to get Scythe Lock. And you can do things by having the Cosmic Cyclone, hitting the Scythe during the um, draw phase and or semi phase. Personally, I would hit the Scythe with the Cosmic when they are going to do DPE. So that way, when they call DPE to Scythe you, you can chain Cosmic, and you're good to go for the follow-up turn. Because once they get rid of their DP to try to Scythe lock you, and if you have an out today, you can stop it. Other main ways this deck revolves around beating people if they cannot Scythe lock you is through the Phantom Knight engine by setting up multiple negates with the Phantom Knight trap cards. And then, like they said, they got access, they got access to Access Code, Talker, AA Zeus. This deck has been a, a nail in my coffin for so long. And... Like most players, I've come to a realization. It's probably one of the better decks in format. So, off the rip, number one way to beat this deck, Artifact Land Seal. You guys can beat it by just lancing during the standby phase. That's what I would do if I'm playing against this deck. I would personally wait till they set up board to land. So, that way, a lot of the times, they can just set the graveyard up. You activate Land Seal on the summon. So, that way, they don't try to go into multiple special summons to try to banish out of the graveyard and go for their plays if you do land see them unfortunately they can't still pk lock you which is why cosmic cyclone like i mentioned at the beginning of the video is really solid for the matchup also like i mentioned in my last week's video with just heroes in general super poly like if you guys are running decks that can afford super poly super poly is really good hitting during a draw phase hitting dpe and rusty bring out a starving venom is really good as well considering PK deck does a lot of targeting because they have an XYZ monster that targets one on um, both fields and destroy it, similar to DP. While DP doesn't target, it does um, do non-targeting effects, but they also have the Phantom Knight trap card that does targeting. And they also link them a lot. I thought to myself, why don't people run the Thanos Dragon? If you guys don't remember what Thanos Dragon do, when your opponent links summons, I think you draw times the link rating, times the amount of link monsters they have on the board plus one. So as soon as they go for the Link Monster, bring it out, you draw two, pick back one. Then every time they target your cards, you can discard a card of your hand to the gate. Now, that's extremely good, specifically due to the fact that if, they, if you have Thanos Dragon, you can guarantee to negate their Phantom Knight Trap that targets one to negate the effect and stop it from attacking. Outside of Thanos Dragon, another really good card for this matchup is Evenly Match. Evenly Match is probably one of the better picks because... They can Scythe Lock you, but if you have main deck evenly matched or side deck evenly matched, you can literally go, okay, go Scythe Lock, main phase, battle phase. More than likely, they already wasted their DP to Scythe you. And 9 times out of 10, unless they have the Griffin from the Adventure Token Engine, you can go evenly match, wipe most of their board, take some damage on your next turn, or set up a defensive field. Like most meta decks, let's be realistic, they can evenly set up their field game, sorry, main phase 2 and pass. And then the opponent's going to lose. Rogue decks like Heroes are going to struggle. So if you guys can set up an evenly match, main phase two, make sure you're playing a deck that can set up a strong board. And that way you can win on the following turn. Now, I'm preaching heavy hand traps this format. Like, right now, I feel like every deck should need hand traps for decks like Sorso and PK. Because you really want to mess up their good hands with, by hitting their consistency. Like, a lot of decks are going to run adventure tokens. So... If you're running things like Imperm, Ash Blossom, you really want them to waste their Adventure Token Griffin for the negate. So that way on the following turn, if they do Scythe Lock you, they can't negate your counterplay to Scythe Lock by using Griffin. 
you can stop the side flight, go for the OTK. Like I said, Cosmic Cyclone, Super Poly, all those things are really good ways to beat that side flight. Also, most popular way, Forbidden Chalice is a budget version of Forbidden Droplet. Um, some decks prefer Chalice because you don't have to discard. Droplet, if you can afford it, play it. But if you don't, if you want to be on a budget, Chalice is just as good. Now, I mentioned hand traps. Good hand traps you guys can run is Droll and Lockbird by stopping their consistency. Um, like I said, Ash Blossom. Some people are even going on a whim as just main deck in the Artifact Landscape outright because outside of PK deck, it does help with Sorso deck. So that's double counter as well. However, with that being said, depending on the deck you're running, it can be kind of dead. And like I said, that deck can still siphon lock you. So if you guys want more information on how to counter the siphon lock, I made a video. You guys can click right here to check that out. However, with that being said, PK is not, it's such a simple deck, but it's simple to the point where it's really good, but it's not really that hard to beat when you look at the options in the meta that we have. Now, yeah, the deck is really good, but if you're running heavy hand traps to slow them down, for they won't make them best optimum board, like getting rid of their adventure, to adventure token Griffin. If you're running things like tech, like Thanos Dragon and stop their targeting, you really shouldn't have issues with this deck, depending on what deck you're running. Also, fun fact, Thanos Dragon can help out against Sora Soul. I've been mean, kind of thinking about tech and Thanos Dragon against Sora Soul. However, I just couldn't fit it in my side deck. It's one of those cards like you can run it and it's not going to automatically help you win but it can give you a better matchup depending on the deck that you're playing against, if that makes sense. Um, outside of the Scythe Lock and just the PK engine being really good, like I said, that deck does have access to AA Zeus. Something I forgot about until my boy Tony showed me the spice with his build, so shout out to you, bro. AA Zeus is a, is a hell of a card. So you're going to need, like I said, I mentioned Chalice earlier, I mentioned Droplet. You're just going to need ways in your main deck to out AA Zeus because... Once you get past the onslaught of the Venture Token Engine, the back row that counters a lot, you're going to run into AA Zeus if they start losing. And you guys already know, AA Zeus can double chain. So if you if they build upon AA Zeus, which they, which they can build to the point where they can use this effect twice, they can effectively board wipe twice. So most meta decks shouldn't have an issue with that. Like Sora Soul could bounce it back with the Tingy Engine, um, my hero deck. Kind of has an issue with this, like Rogue decks will have an issue with this decks that can't recover as fast and accumulate in the field as fast. However, things like Book of Moon is a good tech. Um, like I said, Forbidden Chalice, Forbidden Droplet, if you guys got those. Outside of that, because um, if you evenly match them, they can make that and still kind of have a way to victory. Um, Regeki Dark Hole, Lightning Storm, things like that will definitely help you. Oh, so this deck is a great rare based deck. So Common Sensei. You guys can run things like Dimensional Shifter to essentially prevent your opponent from having a graveyard for the turn, especially if you open it first and you're playing a rogue deck like Madoche's. You can effectively stop everything they do, shut their turn off, make them pass. And if you don't have an OTK, you just don't have to pass it back and hope they can't beat you. Now, obviously, the deck summons a lot. Nibiru is good as well. However, with the Adventure Token Engine, they're kind of not really worried about Nibiru as much because if you nib, they can negate the summon a nib. But all in conclusion, make sure you guys have lots of hand traps, things like Forbidden Chalice to help you. Um, Ghost Ogre is good as well. Um, not so much for the PK Engine of the, form, of the matchup. However, it's really good to stop the Adventure Token Engine. Like my main deck lineup right now is two Ash, two Ghost Ogre, two Imperm, and an Effect Veiler alongside my three Droplets. And I think any kind of hand trap lineup like that, no matter what deck you go into, is going to be really good for all of the matter, not just PK, because you kind of want to try to open up a hand of double hand traps, right? So if you open up a hand of two combo pieces for your main deck, Ghost Ogre, that's like an Ash Blossom, off the rip, you can stop the Adventure Token Engine by hitting the Ghost Ogre in the um, Continuous Spell. You got an Ash Blossom to slow down the PK Engine, and then on your follow-up turn, they're going to probably make a mediocre board and pass on your follow-up turn. You better, your goal, your main goal is going to be try to OTK or establish your powerful board so they can't beat you. Um, so, yeah, man, this is pretty much how to be PK in detail. Thoughts and opinions or anything I missed, I'm going to leave it for you guys. So let me know in the comment section down below. Also, before you guys leave this video, make sure you guys check out the description down below. I have discount codes for TradingCardMint.com. Um, Save 7%. 
I also have a discount code for Imperium Doula, saving 10%. And also, you guys can check out my TCG player to purchase more of your product to support your boy. All right. It's your boy Rogue Hero with How to Beat PKs. Let me know how I did in the description down below. Let me know if you guys like this green screen backdrop. And I'm signing out. Peace and stay innovative. Deuces. You guys have a great rest of your day.